everyone. Get ready for NBA action live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, joined by my partner Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. And now we take a brief check at the matchups. Our starting five for both teams. First for the Warriors. Curry and Thompson, the splash pose in the back. And at the pivot, a terrific defender and all-around player, the Australian sensation, seven-footer, Andrew Bogut. And there's Iggy Dow. And it's Lee, and it's the power forward. And for the Thunder, backboard is Westbrook and Central Ocean. And in the paint, holding down the pivot, a physical and losing big man at 6'10". Big Perk, Kendrick Perkins. And it's Durant, and it's Ibaka in at the four. Well, you look at the turnaround last season for Golden State. A lot of it has to do with the steady presence of Jared Jack and Carl Landry off the bench. Both players brought toughness and a level of competitiveness that was maybe missing from the Warriors the year before. Warriors to start out. In low to Bogut. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. You know, who says the big guy doesn't like to attack the basket? I mean, could have fooled me on that one. Yeah, nice change of pace for him to power one home. Yeah, it's not usually his role, but he takes advantage of the situation there. And for the Warriors, such an impressive turnaround last season, but financial constraints. No Clark make it tricky for them, make it tricky for anybody. Keep teams together. Well said, but I give the ownership credit for making the commitments necessary to put themselves in a good position going forward, Kevin, after such an impressive postseason showing. I think they want to continue that momentum. You'd expect him to nail that one being that close to the hoop. Iguodala kicks the curve. Offensive rebound. Here's Lee. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, I'm a big fan of David Lee, fellas. I mean, you look at the way he's progressed in his career. Each season, he's found a way to improve, and now he's become one of the better passing forwards in the NBA. I just like what he does because he can figure out ways to win each and every night. I think a lot of it just has to do with him feeling right at home with the ball on the block. If you double, he'll find the open man, and if you don't, He'll square up and go into his move. He just finds a way to be productive on offense. You know, with so many high hopes, the Thunder seem to be everybody's pick to make it to the finals once again. They were so dominant throughout the regular season. Many thought it was a foregone conclusion, but the injury to Russell Westbrook kind of sidetracked all of that. Both good from the line that time. And back to the Thunder in the postseason. They did well to get by the Rockets after Westbrook injured his knee. But Steve, they just didn't have the same dynamic punch when they later faced the Grizzlies. Ended up getting bounced out in the second round. The Grizzlies are so good defensively. I mean, you take Westbrook out of the lineup, all of a sudden it changes everything. I thought Oklahoma City battled, uh, but they just didn't have enough firepower without their point guard. Now let's go to Doris Burke, who had a chance to catch up with head coach Scott Brooks. He told me he's a fan of Andre Iguodala, especially the way he's developed his outside shot. He said that was one weakness. He could do everything else, pass, handle, and finish. Oh boy, what a defender. But now that he's developed that jump shot, there no weaknesses in this game. Guys, that makes it awfully tough to deal with a guy who can impact the game in that many ways. Back to you. All right, Doris, thanks. On the wing, it's Iguodala. Gives him the lead pass. Outside for Curry. Releases. Misses off the right iron. Certainly not the dream start they were hoping for, going one for four early. Well, Stephen Curry, really the engine that drives the Warriors offensively. And I don't know if there's a more entertaining player in the whole oh, What a huge play. Putting on a show for these people. I cannot believe he pulled that one out <laughs> in the course of an actual game. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Might as well flaunt it if you've got it, Clark. Curry against Westbrook. Feeds to Durant. And it goes as the 
tricks up his sleeve. Well, this Warriors ownership group has really energized the franchise. They've been very proactive. They purchased the D-League team from Dakota that plans to move them to Santa Cruz about an hour south of Oakland. And in order to accommodate the team's home games, they built a new 3,000-seat arena in a matter of months. Curry gets the screen from Lee. On the wing, it's Iguodala. Good, and Curry gets the assist. And he came off that screen. The defense just couldn't get over the top. Beautiful play. Yep, and without a hand in his face, he's going to bury those. And the Santa Cruz Warriors, as they've been renamed, have been a hit. You know, Clark leading the D-League in revenue. Oh, look at that. That is a grand down the How's that for a one-man show? Put this fellow on Broadway. Self-service. <laughs> The most magnificent alley you could get a chance at, baby. <laughs> Pulled it off, too. Remarkable. Fires at the elbow. No good. So the Thunder will take it the other way. Westbrook against Thompson. Westbrook dishes to Sephalosha. Goes up. And it's Westbrook. That's how he assists from Sephalosha. You know, one thing with Scott Brooks, guys, he's very consistent with his message. You listen in on those timeouts, it's all about getting stops. Defense, 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 and letting their offense come from that. Thompson outside. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Perkins got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They sure have been. I mean, really looking good and sharp offensively. Knocking down the open shots and really getting a nice flow to their game. Different look here for the Warriors. The Warriors trailing. And Clark, you mentioned Brooks' single mindedness has stayed pretty constant with his rotations, too. And there's no doubt players appreciate knowing their role, but you know, a lot of critics have been surprised at how Brooks has stuck to his lineups. Some lineups that didn't seem to be all that effective. You know, his usual starting lineup with Seth Lotion and Perkins on the floor hasn't been their best in terms of plus minus, but uh, Brooks very loyal to his starting group. Gets it to go. You know, no matter what you do with Durant defensively, nothing bothers you. Uh, you. You try to be physical with him, you know, that's probably your best bet. But that's easier said than done because he can get around you with that speed and quickness. But really what he's looking to do is create space and shoot over the top. And you've just highlighted a lot of what he has from a skills standpoint. It's his demeanor, that unflappable nature that's always in attack mode. He's got the quick release. He's got the size to shoot over most of the any defenders. And uh, he can go for buckets in a hurry. He's streaky, but he's efficient as well as effective for long stretches. He's special. Put together a great team, fans can get a little wild. When you put together a great team that's exciting to watch too, then they really get wild. And that's what you have to deal with when you go to Oklahoma City. A great team with terrific fans. And back to these great fans in Oklahoma City. They hosted the Hornets for one season in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, you recall. And Steve really showed what a great crowd they could be for a team. Kevin, I agree, and I, I think that season when they hosted the Hornets, I think that showed the league that Oklahoma City was ready uh, to become a franchise, and that's why the, the move from Seattle to Oklahoma City was allowed by the league because the city had proven uh, that they would support the club. A three-pointer off the mark. Almost surprised that he had that much room to work with. Barnes kicks to Curry. It's good, only a few seconds into the shot clock. Harrison Barnes. Here's Jackson. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. 40 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And Durant, here we go. Here's Lamb. Off the mark here with the three-point shot. Durant, the pass to Jackson. Back to Durant. Outside Jackson, four on the clock. Second shot opportunity, missed inside. 
Douglas dishes to Kirk. And he's going up for the alley -oop. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley -oop. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the Thunder up one. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And for the Thunder guys, what stands out to you so far? And I thought they built this lead mainly because of their work on the glass. They really dominated the rebounding totals. And it takes an effort from all five guys to get a rebounding advantage like that. Everybody has to rebound the ball. That's how you finish off your defense. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Kevin, the Thunder are often seen as getting into one another during games in what looks like heated arguments. But that is the culture they want, as every player can hold each other accountable. Did they have some competitive moments? Absolutely. But that's how we work here. We challenge each other. It gets chippy. You can't argue with the results, even if it looks like they are always at each other's throats, guys. I believe it. Those must make for some good battles to us. Thanks. We can't leave him alone, especially from long range. Oklahoma City trailer. Jeff Curry is virtually impossible to defend. I mean, he can hit from anywhere on the floor. In the gym range, personified with Curry. Mid-range jumpers are like layups to him. And inside, he's got the floater finger roll and the runner. You always expect his shots to go in. It's like watching a game of horse at full speed on the highest stakes are on the line. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And Steve shooting no doubt. Curry is fortunate. He narrowly missed the All-Star game last season. I mean, I can't believe he, he didn't get elected. And, and he seemed to be the one glaring miss. Where, when you watch this game, where, where can he improve? I think offensively, he, he's got the whole package. I think it's at the other end of the floor where he can probably improve. He needs to compete a little bit more defensively. Uh, but that's tough to do when you're handling so much of the offensive load uh, for your team. But he's got to find a little more balance, I think, between his offense and his defense. He dishes it to Barnes. He passes to his Ely. Golden State moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Spates. That's in. Coming off a nice assist from Douglas. Spates has got his first points of the game. And he shows us he knows how to finish with a flourish. Jackson kicks to Lamb. Passes it to Durant. The dish to Lamb. And again, Oklahoma is hitting with the triple. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, but neither team really able to jump ahead. They're five times already the lead has changed. The Warriors were able to get back to the postseason for the first time since the We Believe season in 07 when they knocked off the Dallas Mavericks as an eight seed. They didn't finish above 500 on the road, but still were much better than previous years, which allowed them to get to the playoffs. David Lee's checked in for Maurice Spates. The pass to Douglas. I tell you, that's outstanding determination to track that rebound down and fight his way to the bucket for the throwdown. Clark, that is the effort they're going to need for the rest of this game. And not just on the offensive glass, Kevin, but all over the floor. What is the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. Curry with it. It's about to pick him up. Douglas with three. Another three for Golden State. Well, back to that Warrior Road record that Clark was talking about, 19 and 22, as you said. But I remember an early road trip that, uh, you know, had them go 6 and 1. Really helped them start to believe in themselves. He was a team last season. Yeah, that included that uh, buzzer-beating win against Miami on Draymond Green's shot. I, mean, I think that's when this group really realized that they could make some noise and possibly be a playoff team. It's one thing to intimidate with your play, and it's another to get in the face of a player's Shot you just blocked last season. Ibaka took it to that next level and ruffled some feathers by doing just that. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of 
where the points are coming from here for the Warriors. And they're doing a fantastic job of finding the open man and getting easy looks. You know, it also hasn't taken them long to make their mark in the paint. I mean, they're doing a lot of their scoring from in there. The free throw drops from Ibaka. And speaking of Ibaka getting feisty, I remember seeing him get into it. In fact, with Coach Brooks when he was subbed out of a game, there was that flagrant foul against Blake Griffin. He, he's got a fuse. Well, he's showing a little bit of a hot-headed streak, Kevin. I like that. A little feistiness. <laughs> you like that from your big men. You know, you want them to be tough. Showing emotion. Exactly. Passion. As long as you control the emotion. Well said, Steve. Both shots, good for the strike. Well, you can see it at the start of the season that Oklahoma City was being driven by falling short in the 2012 finals. Their focus was on being the best team in the West, and they jumped on that goal right from the start. The feed to Douglas. From the arc. In the point, shot is no good. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. He lobs up the end of the pass. Right back over. This is a seesaw affair. The game's there for the taking, but neither team seems to want it. And for the Thunder, the second best regular season record in the league last season, Steve, at 60 and 22. Well, and they had the best point differential in the league, Kevin, which I think is probably the best barometer in terms of how well you're playing. But clearly, the Westbrook injury in the first round of the playoffs against Houston just completely took the win out of the sails. I would look for Oklahoma City to be back this year. With everybody healthy, they'll have a chip on their shoulders. They want to get back to the finals this year. Jackson with it. He feeds it to land. Jacks up a three. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. It was a slow start for him, but he started to take off since we hit the second quarter, guys. Douglas for three. The Thunder pour it in. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. No good. So Golden State will take it the other way. Pulls it up. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Perkins got his fifth rebound right now in the game. You know, not only is the game neck and neck and tight, but the rebounding battle is too. Extremely close on the board. And both teams have really put in a terrific effort down low. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Gentlemen, Russell Westbrook has been criticized in the past for shooting instead of passing to Kevin Durant. And while teammate Kendrick Jenkins jokes that sometimes he wanted to strangle him a little bit, Coach Scott Brooks said, quote, there are times when my hair is almost out. Brooks added, Russell is a dynamic offensive player. We need that. And Durant himself said, some people are going to love you, some people are going to hate you. So what? We need Russell to do what he does. Kevin? Infectious enthusiasm, Doris. You see it every time he steps on the floor. He did it his way, which is what I respect. And he really took the lead by storm. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Outside Jackson, six to shoot. Perkins, the pass to Durant. And he overshot that one, missing. Now Curry. A floater, blocked. First game as we wrap up the second quarter. Thunder lead by four. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And it's time to break down the first half of action. I hope you're having a great Friday night so far. Oklahoma City up on top against Golden State. They're in the zone offensively. When you got it going on like they do, it's going to be so much fun. Kevin Durant has stood out in the early going. He's got eight points, and he's made some key plays in the assist department, too. And the Warriors are still in it, going all out.
Their outside scoring is letting them down so far. And without that threat from outside, their offense is bogging down, unable to spread the floor. Tony Douglas still looking to get going. Just can't get things to fall in the early parts of the game. He's shooting under 20%. And that'll do it as the second half is about to start out in Oklahoma City. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. We've seen Kevin Durant really having a great game. You know, he spoils us with his performances game in and game out. And so far, it's another big scoring night for him. Typically, when he puts up that many points in the first half, he's going to follow it up with a better second half. We'll see if that happens here. Westbrook, this is to Abaka. Good. Abaka's got the first pass to start out the third quarter for Oklahoma City. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. You know, you look over at how tough the West has been over the last decade or so, and my, you've never seen a team dominate that conference the way the Thunder did last year. They were on the roll. Well, the pick worked really well there. Nice job taking it right to the 10 for the layup. Westbrook kicks to Zephalosha. Ibaka working on the lead. Dishes to Zephalosha with the lead pass, and that one's good. And the Thunder lead by six. The record for the Thunder against the West, 39 and 13. This numbers that you never really see for a team playing against what is always, Steve, a very tough Western Conference. Well, just to give you an idea of how good the Thunder were in the West last year, you'd have to go all the way back to the 08-09 season to find another club that had more than 39 wins against the West. That was the 09 Lakers, of course, who went on to win it all. And the basket by Curry. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Thunder. You know, it's very rare that you're going to be able to make the playoffs in the West without coming out with a winning record against the rest of the conference. And the Warriors knew that would be important in their quest for the playoffs, and they handled business against the West. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. No, 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 no. And Durant backing in. A fader. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Durant's got 10 points in the game. On for the Warriors who fought so hard to get back into the playoffs. Last year, their 28 and 24 record against the rest of the West really helped their bonds for them. Well, the toughest part of the Warriors' last campaign was a rough stretch of games in February where they dropped off a, a bit in the race. And, you know, a lot of those games were against Western teams, and if you kind of remove that month, their in conference record is even more impressive. season under 13 points a game. But, Kevin, if you're just looking at the offensive numbers, you're, you're kind of missing the point with Iguodala. He's a defensive-minded player. He can score, particularly in transition, but it's his defense, it's his rebounding, it's what he brings to the total game that sets him apart. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Oh, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamorous steps. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Shots good by Durant. 
Boy, it was an impressive turnaround for Mark Jackson and the Warriors last season. I mean, his promise of making the playoffs didn't come together in the first season as the controls, but in year two, they got it done. And I tell you what, most thought Mark would be a really outstanding coach, and he's well on his way to making that a reality. Boy, even though he missed, he can't give up that kind of a look very often. Yeah, they're lucky that they didn't get burned on that one. It's Iguodala with the drive. Lee. Andrew Perkins pulls it in. Perkins got his seventh rebound here tonight. And for Mark Jackson, there have been some questions. He had never spent time as a coach, even as an assistant. Uh, you know, I guess the question was, Steve, would he be able to take over the reins as a head coach? Well, the biggest thing you want to do as an NBA coach is, is have your players buy into what you're selling. And Mark Jackson's been able to do that. His players believe in him. Uh, he motivates them. They like playing for him. And that's most of the battle right there. And the shot is good. And here's Westbrook. Outside Durant. Back to Westbrook. on the low block. That's the fifth consecutive basket inside. And Steve, these looks they're allowing uh, almost automatically. The Warriors making the switch here. The beats checked in. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Thunder. These long-range shots look like layups out there, guys. Well, you've also got to love how aggressively they take that ball to the basket and score it off dribble penetration. You know, one of the keys to the Thunder's success last year was they made a living at the free throw line. The golden rule of basket, or one of them anyway, is don't foul a jump shooter. But that didn't stop teams from getting whistled against OKC, and they usually made other teams pay when they got to the line. Westbrook with it, and Curry picks him up defensively for three, Durant, that's good. Durant's got seven points for the court. They've had the hotter hand in the first half so far, no question. Yeah, it's because of all the high percentage shots they've been working for and getting. Taking a look at the rankings from last year, Thunder was second overall and took to the free throw line, and Steve, for a third straight year, they led the league in free throw percentage, a deadly combination. Yeah, they actually have the third best team free throw percentage in NBA history, so quite a combination. And you've got Durant and Westbrook constantly attacking and putting pressure on the defense, and then knocking down their free throws like they do, and that's difficult to deal with. And that'll be up on the city's ball as it goes out of bounds. You always want a player to have his head up and to be surveying the court, but not if that's going to be the result. There's 117 left in the third quarter. Westbrook against Curry. Westbrook passes to Saint Lucia. Back to Westbrook. Left side, Westbrook. And there's the whistle, fouled hard, and the shot will go to the line. That one on Thompson. We look back to that 2008 draft. The then Sonics, now Thunder took Westbrook at the four spot, and a lot of people thought that was a reach, but tell you what, you redo the draft right now, and he has a legitimate case of being the number one pick. No good on the fifth row. Back in that 2008 draft, Westbrook had played kind of a combo yep. guard at UCLA, and there were some questions, I think, among a lot of scouts and personnel guys' minds about his ability to become a full-time point guard. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I think you always have to look at players, not just for what they might become, but what are they when they get to you. And Russell was a guy who was athletic, aggressive, hungry to get better. And when you've got those attributes and his athleticism, you're going to be a difference maker in the league, and he's proven that to be the case. And with Harden out of OKC, you knew that Russell Westbrook would have a lot of burden on his shoulders to be a playmaker. And he responded. I think he was very active last year in terms of distributing the ball. Outside curl. Just four to shoot. Really left alone that time. Thompson's got seven points. What are they thinking leaving him with all that space out there? 
Do they not know? Have they not heard that this guy is unbelievable? That's a layup for him. Boy, he made a nice little bounce pass there. We call that the pocket pass, and he did it well. Warriors trail by 10. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Curry dishes to Thompson. Westbrook with the steal. By himself. Russell down the breakaway jam. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. And Curry, here we go. Two seconds left. Here's Spence. And the beat sends it back. And here we go to the third quarter. It's a double-digit ball game. Thunder out in front, up by 12. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. Target back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail biter here, but you never know. Here's Curry. Curry against Westbrook. Iguodala outside. Five to shoot. Curry outside. It's rebounded by Durant. Well, an eight rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. Evans kicks to Durant. Pass to Westbrook. And there's the call on Clay Johnson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Kendrick Perkins. Here's Westbrook. Outside Durant. Back to Westbrook. Kicks it to Sofalosian. All three off the mark. Warriors trail by 12. Pass to Iguodala. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Iguodala's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Warriors. He's very savvy in traffic. When he gets inside, has a kind of an uncanny way of shielding himself from contact and finding a way to finish at the rim. And I also think he might have played a little football, Steve, because he's excellent at intercepting passes. I mean, that seems to be his falling card defensively. The Warriors shooting 47% from the floor, getting it done. David Allen off the pitch from his heel. Thompson for three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Thompson's got 10 points here in the second half. They can't afford to give him that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you got to fight over the top of that. He kicks it to Durant. Feeds it to Cephalosha. Oklahoma City moving it around. Four on the shot clock. And they come right back with their own three-point. This is great. Three-pointers going down quickly at both ends. Yeah, it took them no time to answer back on that possession. Timeout by the Warriors. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor. Getting a short pass with your touch in the bag. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Thank you, Kevin. Mark Jackson had some words for his team over that break. He got after them and told them to turn up the intensity, saying, we put ourselves in the corner, and now we've got to fight our way out. Show me what you have. Let's see if we've got what it takes, guys. Curry kicks to Iguodala. Back to Curry. He dishes it to Iguodala. Pass it to Azil. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Festus Azil taken with the final pick of the first round in 2012. And he's a raw athletic 6'11 big man out of Nigeria by way of Vanderbilt University. Boy, I tell you what, I love his size. It's now all about improving his skill level, and with his work ethic, 
I think it's just a matter of time before that happens. That free throw, no good. And Steve Frazili, a good offensive rebounder, a capable defender, but offensively, not much help. Well, he can get better, no question. He just needs to be able to, to catch and finish off those pick-and-roll plays. He's never going to be a great shooter. Uh, but defensively and on the glass, that's where he really makes an impact. And he's good on the second. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his third foul of the game. It was a tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happens. And Drew Bogan, he's checked in for Golden State. Here's Westbrook. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Perkins, the pass to Westbrook. Westbrook gets a screen from Perkins. Shot clock at five. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Good job here in the second half. They're doing a really solid job of pounding that ball inside. And they're being intentional about it. And that's the way you succeed, getting that ball inside. Free throw good, Westbrook. Warriors trail by 12. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Two minutes run so far. Iguodala gets the ball. You know, defensively, you cannot forget about him. He gave him a wide open look there. The Thunder have gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Sepalosha dishes to Westbrook. Always going up for the end. Excellent communication between teammates on the avenue. And that's what you need to pull that off. Now, both ends of that play, just fantastic. The Warriors have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. And Thompson kicks to Bogan. Back to Thompson. He passes it to Higgard out. Now the dish to lead. Working on a bucket. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot by Higgard out. And it's Golden State with another. They're doing their best to erase the deficit here with some smart passes and some good shooting. I mean, those two things go hand in hand. If you're going to make shots, then the passes have to be on target and on time. Oklahoma City leading by nine. Our timeout called by Oklahoma City. Six on the shot clock. Gets it to go. That's a nice use for a guy that typically doesn't score a lot. A minute 42 left in the fourth. Thompson outside. Iguodala, the pass to Curry. That falls. Nice feed that time from Andre Iguodala. And that's 13 points for Steph Curry. Of all the guys you want to leave open out on the perimeter, he is the absolute last guy on the list. Attention to detail. Know your personnel. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Now a timeout call by Golden State. They trail by eight. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter. Quarter of this one. 
Well, get this just to clear. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of times that big. Take a look at what Curry's done. 13 points and a huge helping of assists as well. Now, he's a maestro, Clark. I mean, the conductor of this offense putting on a fantastic performance. He drops the first one, and that narrows the gap to seven. Crucial that he converted those foul shots. They've got to continue to eat away at this lead. Westbrook gets to Durant. Abaga sets the pick for Durant. He feeds it to Perkins. Westbrook, Westbrook, Westbrook. Lock at six. Now Cephalosha. It's all inbound. They're eager to well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. Curry passes to it. You know. The Bombers, Oklahoma City takes possession. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Curry. The shot, no good. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's his second personal foul. 14 foul. Oklahoma City's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul right there. been so critical, Clark, because whenever they he have gotten the ball, it's resulted in points, it seems like. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Clay Thompson. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. A three from Barnes. And the rebound goes to Perkins. Lead dishes to Curry. Yes! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And they go to the intentional foul.
Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Those foul shots put them that much more in the driver's seat. Dishes it to Barnes. For the three. No good.